right in the side Let's have a heart to heart about your pride Even though you're multi, I see that your soul don't look alive The M's count different when baby divides the pie Wait, let's examine why Your music for the past few years been angry and full of lies I started at the home front, I'm on one Then this gram stay off the gram, bitch, I'm on one You mention wedding ring like it's a bad thing Your father walked away at five, hell of a bad thing Marriage is something that Sandy never had, Drake how you a winner, but she keep coming in last place Damn. Monkey soup Who come with that? I ain't talking on the phone Just speak on my line, you breaking the code Got me a bag and investing in low Love all of my niggas, I cut them, me told Walk in my closet, a whole lot of gold What is up to my JBCE squad? You already know how we coming, man You already know how we coming Another day, another video, man So as y'all can see by the title below We are doing the Drake First push a T beat. So I didn't really know that they were having beef. You dig what I'm saying? I didn't know they were really having beef. But a lot of people messaged me saying, Hey, did you hear that Drake and Push T was having beef? I was like, nah, nah, nah. So they were like, You should do your next video on that. So I was like, eh, okay, I said, I said, okay, I'll think about it. You dig what I'm saying? But then I had a friend last night who was just like, Hey, have you heard the new disc? And I was like, Oh, no, nah, I haven't. Because I don't really keep up with dishes like that. You know what I'm saying? So I checked it out. And I listened to the song and I was like, damn, okay. He said some, he spit some fire on that. He spit some fire on that. So today, we're, that's what we're going to be talking about, man. So shout out to everybody that gave me that idea. That's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to do the Drake versus Pusha T. And we're going to start off. I was going to put it all in one video, but we're going to start off by taking looking at Pusha T's side. And then I'm going to make another video talking about Drake's. So, before we get into that video, man, I want y'all to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that post notifications, man, so y'all can be part of the JBCE gang crew, you dig what I'm saying? So, before we get into the video, like, comment, subscribe, and let's get into this video, man. Easy money. It's about to be a surgical summer. Chop the tops off the coops. The cuatro ciento ochenta y ocho. The spider joint. And you know we gotta cut the heads off these snakes, right? Watch the body drop. Drug dealing aside, goose right in the side. Let's have a heart to heart about your pride. Even though you're multi, I see that your soul don't look alive. The M's count different when baby divides the pie. Wait, let's examine why. Your music for the past few years been angry and full of lies. I started at the home front, I'm on one. Dennis Graham, stay off the gram, bitch, I'm on one. You mention wedding ring like it's a bad thing. Your father walked away at five, hell of a dad thing. Damn. Marriage is something that Sandy never had. Drake, how you a winner, but she keep coming in last place. Yo, I didn't know Dennis, you I mean, I didn't know Steve, Steve Harvey Steve 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 nigga made him. Confused, always felt you weren't black enough. Afraid to grow it, cause your fro wouldn't nap enough. <laughs> Since you name dropped my fiance, let him know who you chose as your Beyonce. Sophie knows better as your baby mother. Cleaned her up for Damn, IG, but the stitches on her. Her baby's involved, it's deeper than rap. We talking character, let me keep with the facts. You are hiding a child, let that boy come home. Deadbeat motherfucker Time playing child? Border Patrol. Ooh. Adonis is your son, and he deserves more. More than an Adidas press run, that's real. Love that baby, respect that girl. Forget she's a porn star, let her be your world. Yeah. How dare you put yay in my verses? I'm selfish, I want all of the curses. I'm pre booking the churches. Me versus three hearses. If we all go to hell, it'll be worth it. Already aligned with the greats. And on that same note, the only ones I chase are two ghosts. Still giving you classics. That's the only thing that dates me. Over your 40, hunched over like he ate. Damn, tick, hunched over like tick, How much time he got that man is Six, six, six I got the devil flow, nigga Damn, six, 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 six. Oh. Surgical summer with it Snip, snip, snip And you don't snip, really snip, want snip. it with him Surgical summer volume one 
We gonna take this slow. We just gonna peel it back layer by layer. Yeah. Daytona. Album of the motherfucking year. And you talking about you upset. <laughs> well, I wanna see what it's like when you get angry, okay? You show me that. Push. Damn, man. That joint was crazy. That joint was crazy, son. That joint was wild. Push a T can spit, man. Push T can spit some lyrics, fool. I didn't even know I could spit them lyrics. That's crazy. So bro. now that y'all heard the song, I hope y'all think it was good. I think it was pretty good. I don't really listen to Push a T like that. But that diss track was something serious. It gotta be recognized. Um, but right now. Um, y'all gonna follow me. I'm gonna tell y'all a little bit of background history on to why Pusha T and Drake got their little beef. Uh, mostly, I'm gonna give you Pusha's side of the story because, again, this is Pusha T's this. Um, but I'm gonna put a little bit of Drake on their history in it too so y'all can get the full aspect and get the full recognition on why they got this little beef going. So, back in... Their beef originally started around 2011. You know what I'm saying? So it's been going on for a minute. But back in 2011, Pusha released a freestyle over Dreams Money Can Buy, which is a single that was supposed to be on Drake's sophomore album, Take Care. So Drake didn't, I mean, not Drake, Pusha T didn't really name a specific target. He didn't really target anybody on the freestyle. But you know how some lyrics, people take it the wrong way. Um, so even though he didn't really specifically say he was throwing shots at Drake, or Drake's ego, um, one of the uh, people thought that he was, um, so because one of his lyrics, I guess people thought he was talking about Drake's ego because he said, rappers on their sophomores acting like they boss lords, fame such a funny thing for sure. So a lot of people can take that a different way. Uh, but again, that's how it started. Then again, after that, Pusha T attacked Drake and Lil Wayne in Exodus 23-1. Um, so in that song, uh, I heard it a couple of times. Now, in that song, there's a bunch of words that I'm not going to say on here, but he took a lot of shots on that thing, on that record. And in that record, he criticized Lil Dwayne's, I mean, Drake's contact with Young Money and Cash Money Records and said a bunch of profane things. Then in 2013, then in 2013, Drake released Tuscan Leather, which was the first track on his album, Nothing Was the Same. If y'all Drake fans, y'all gotta know that song, man. But um he in that song he warns anybody who was attacking Lil Wayne to stop. So technically he was telling Pusha, hey, chill, my bro, quit this, because um he was saying he, um that that you're coming from one of the the biggest people in the industry, you dig know what I'm saying? So, um, that's how that, um, I guess significantly increased their beef. Um, but in that song, when Drake released it, one of the lyrics he said was, I'm just as famous as my mentor, but that's still the boss. Don't got sent for, don't get sent for, get hype on the tracks and jump in front of a bullet that you were meant for, that you wasn't meant for. Because you don't really want to hear me vent no more. So that's really deep. Jumping in front of a bullet that you wasn't meant for. So that's crazy. Um, but yeah, man. So this beef is just getting deeper and deeper and deeper as the years go on. So now we're going to go back to Pusha's side. So so Pusha let that simmer for a few years. Everybody thought Drake had won, I'm guessing. Um, but then he responded again in 2016. 2016, three years later, like, if you're going to respond, you want to do a back-to-back -back so that way you don't let people know that, oh, he won. But I guess Pusha T was like, okay, okay, you came back with that. Now let me come back with a little something, something, think a little something, something, take a little time out and think about what I'm going to say. So he let it simmer for a little bit, you know what I'm saying, simmer like bacon, you dig what I'm saying? But 
He came back in 2016 with the HGTV Freestyle, which threw shots at Drake for Drake's ghostwriting. So ghostwriting is something like when you don't, when you think people don't write their own lyrics. But um, in this, the um, Pusha T revealed himself to be a ghostwriter truther. So he's best basically saying, "Oh, I write my own lyrics, but you don't." So. Um, in that, in his lyrics, in Pusha T's lyrics, he said, it's too far gone when the realest ain't real. I walk amongst the clouds so your ceilings ain't real. These bitches call of duty cause they killings ain't real. With a questionable pin, questionable pin, so the feelings ain't real. That is deep, bro. That's deep. You're specifically saying that Drake doesn't write his own lyrics. So, if Drake doesn't write his own lyrics... Who do you think does write his own lyrics? Honestly, my opinion, I think Drake writes his own lyrics. I don't know what y'all think, but that's what I think. Then, following that, you know what I'm saying, Drake is a fast beef responder. So, a few weeks later, he responded with the Two Birds and One Stone disc, which dissed Pusha and Kid Cootie. So, Cootie had criticized Drake's ghostwriting skills as well. So, now Drake got two people who he's trying to get on. You dig know what I'm saying? So, um, but then Drake, in this um, Two Birds and One Stone, Drake accused um, Pusha T of making up fake drug dealer stories. So he's technically saying that that got to stop. You made a couple of chops, and now you think you, El Chapo. El Chapo is a big drug dealer. So Kid Cootie, um, in um, Kid Cootie, I mean, not Kid Cootie, yeah, no, not Kid Cootie, um, Pusha T, I guess, said that he sold a lot of drugs in his day, I guess. Um, so, but that brings us to now the current um, Pusha T and Drake beef. Um, I was watching on The Breakfast Club. Pusha T was on The Breakfast Club a couple days ago, and he said the only person, he said the only person that um, he hasn't sold more drugs than was Easy e R.I.P. Easy e But that's what he said in his interview. He said, the only person that hasn't sold more dope than me is Easy e And that's word from word from his mouth that he said on the interview. So, now, leading up to today, um, Pusha T re- released um, an album called Daytona. Um, on that cover, you dig know what I'm saying? Um, on that cover... It was Whitney Houston's um, drug-filled bathroom as the cover art. That's kind of messed up. Whitney Houston's a great singer. R.I.P. Whitney Houston. Um, but uh, in that album, he released a song. The last track on that song, on that album, was Infrared, um, which talked about Drake's ghostwriting again. So now we're at um, the ghostwriting again, and... Uh, in the opening verse for that song, he said, the lyric pennon equaled the Trump winning. The bigger question is how the Russians did it. It was written like Naz, but it came from Quentin. And Quentin, he's referring to the rapper Quentin Miller. Um, so basically, he's saying that the Russians helped President Trump win his election, just like Ghost Riders helped Drake throughout his career. That is deep. He's referring to Trump. And he's referring to Drake. So, obviously we all hate Trump. But we love Drake. So, putting those two together? Ah, that's a little hard, man. That's a little rough. So, so after that, um, Nicki Minaj jumped in. You know what I'm saying? St- stop questioning the goats. Um, because if you question one, you, you awaken in the sleeping giant. So... She's backing up Drake. You know what I'm saying? But, um, so that's pretty much how that beef is going. It's still going on. A lot of controversy with it. Um, but I guess, um, a lot of people thought the beef would be done after this. Drake said, hey, bro, send me an invoice. And, um, and Pusha T was like, okay, okay, I'll send you an invoice. For a lot of y'all that don't know what an invoice is, an invoice is... A legalized document saying, given the address, 
give them the specific money um, that you're um, sending and where you're sending it to. The reason why Drake said it, um, send him an invoice is because Drake doesn't want to be in any part of this beat. He said, okay, since you want to put all these people in the beef, send me an invoice. Um, send me an invoice uh, because it really shouldn't be keep going like this. So he said, send me an invoice. So Pusha T was like, okay, I'll send you an invoice. So they sent them the invoice. Uh, and the invoice is going to be right there. Um, probably in this area right here. Um, that's where the invoice is going to be. So y'all can see what the invoice is. It's technically him saying, okay, I'm going to send you this amount of money to this address. Yada, yada, yada. Um, so naturally, um, Drake went ahead and sent him an invoice. And that's what leads us to this song today. Um, and this song, the story of Ad Adidon, the story of Adidon, which was a Drake disc, was the song I just played for y'all early in the video. That disc is like that. So we gonna see, um, how this all plays out. Um, Drake did make a, um, Drake did make a, um, he did, he did come back with his own song and, um, which is called Doobie Freestyle. He did come back with his own song, uh, his own diss track. So that's what we're going to talk about in the next video. But yeah, man, these disses, man, disses can get a little crazy. Um, but I think this is just good for the culture. And I know y'all do too. But let me know what y'all think about the video, man. Do you think Pusha T's going to win or do you think Drake's going to win? Pusha T or Drake? Again, this is a good for the culture for me. I think uh, a lot of people need to hear it because everybody thinks that fame gives you a perfect life. And the perfect life, nobody has a perfect life. It's not guaranteed. You dig know what I'm saying? So uh, as a result, you just got to deal with it. Um, but all in all, I think this this track song was great. Um, I love the beat. I love the lyrics. Um he disrespected a bunch of stuff in there and said a lot of things that uh, if they were to rekindle their bromance, I don't know how long that would take. I mean, they might, if they both sit down like mature people and say, hey, let's quit it, let's end the beef, it'll probably end. You know what I'm saying? But, because nobody got time for that beef. But, at the end of the video, uh, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. Turn on that post notifications. Again, like, comment, subscribe. Turn on the post notifications. And give that bell a ring a ding ding, man. Uh, and let me see. I want to get this video to about 2,000 likes. If we can get it to more than that, that would be helpful. But uh, let me know what y'all thought about the video, man. And thank y'all for watching. Peace. My ex keep calling, trying to see if I'm okay But I need another pound of OG Kelly from the Bay Bad bitch from New York, so I fly to the H Shawty thick as hell, yeah That new Birkin on the waist, Uber every fucking wear Backwoods in a zip, and I think that bitch a thotty So I kicked her out my whip, all this leaning got me drowsy I can't take another sip, 